the piece of Niagara Gold. We're sending this off to a radon company in North Carolina. After that, it'll, it might go to the Health Physicist Society. Um, piece of Niagara Gold is uh, on grid section J5. This is a Lenny Geiger counter. Right now, the Geiger counter is only showing about six or seven uh, microrotogens per hour. It's set on X100, which means this is uh, 10 right there, so that would be about six or seven. We've got a laptop hooked up to it that is far more accurate about measuring the thing. And we're gonna we're gonna run a data log on this thing. We're gonna clear it. And I've got to zero in the average, and then we're gonna start it. Every second it's gonna take a recording and it's gonna count the accounts per minute and it's gonna average the microrotogen per hour. Microrotogen can be considered about the same thing as microrem for this example. Looks like it's hanging around 7.2 micro rem per hour. It's at 15, it was an average of 7.3. We're gonna do the same test again with a piece of paper under it to block out the alpha. Now we're measuring uh, beta and gamma only. I'm gonna restart the thing. <coughs> And it's look like it's hanging out at about 7.4 millirem per hour. So you can see this thing has not that much alpha radiation coming off of it. It's mostly gamma and beta. We're going to restart the test. And this time we're using an eighth inch plastic shield. That's going to shield out everything but the gamma. So this, this is only going to be gamma only. We're doing 15 seconds. It looks like we're at about 3.8, 3.6 millirem per hour, all gamma. I'll take it out the sunlight. I can see it. Okay, this is again the same J5 uh, Niagara Gold. And it looks like it's running around 209 uh, microrotogens per hour per gamma off the scintillator. Scintillators are, are very, uh, they're not very efficient. They're only catching around 5% of the radiation, and so we're told. So the, the gamma radiation is a lot higher. It depends upon how, how hot the radiation is. Go. This is a piece of uh, Bordeaux. It is running about on the meter. It's showing about a 10 or 11 uh, millirem per hour or microrotogen per hour. This is a piece of Bordeaux. We're checking a spot on it with our Geiger counter. We've got it set on X10. So this is one um, millirotogen per hour, which is about the same as a millirem. We're going to start the data log on it. And for 15 seconds, we're going to measure the radiation. It will count the radiation every second, and it'll average it. Looks like it's about 2 millirem, according to the computer. <laughs>